Well, it's a promise that's just too hard to pass up. Free money from friends, but there's one big problem. Those friends are actually scammers. Now, it can be easy to fall for some of the internet-based scams. One victim is now sharing her story, so you don't make the same mistakes. Two Works Views, Travis Guillory has the four red flags to watch out for. I'm usually not that stupid. Sheila doesn't want to give her last name. She isn't very happy with herself. She received a Facebook message from a friend about a major grant being offered for seniors in debt. Since my friend was on the other on the other side telling me that it was a legit thing and blah blah, I figured okay it must be all right. She got in touch with someone who asked her for her information in order to apply. I did give him my name, address, and and phone number, date of birth, and all that kind of stuff. Then all she had to do was pay a small fee for processing. They wanted a um, hundred dollar, either an Amazon gift certificate or a Google Play card. Sheila sent the money and was told she was eligible to receive a hundred and forty nine thousand dollars. But then the rub is, oh, it's you. It will cost you twelve hundred and fifty dollars. That's when Sheila realized the offer was too good to be true. And uh, I said, yeah, I don't think so. Thank you very much, but no, thank you. First and foremost, if you are not actively seeking a grant, why would anybody contact you? The Better Business Bureau wants you to remember grants are free. That's red flag number one. There's not going to be any upfront fees. Number two, there's always an application process that's going to include a lot of carefully crafted paperwork. Which brings us to red flag number three, watch for poor grammar. Sheila admits she should have known better. Their grammar wasn't really good. And red flag number four, make sure you know who you're talking to. Sheila emailed her friend and learned his Facebook was actually hacked. And I said, did you send me this for the blah, blah, blah? And he said, no, I did not. I did not. In the end, Sheila only lost $100, but it could have been worse, and she wants others to know. Just like to warn other people, don't be, don't be stupid like I was. They were pretty crafty. And Travis found that seniors will lose close to $3 billion this year from scams. Now that's according to a Senate Special Committee on Aging. We put a link to the top 10 scams targeting seniors on KGRH.com and the Two Works For You app.